Blogging is kind of like sharing your diary or your journal. It's a picture into your life and how you live and how you do things, how you think. This is my bullet journal. how I do things, how I keep it all together in this busy, busy life. So I have shown this before, but there's a lot more here than uh, the last time I showed it. So this is the very beginning of the bullet journal. There's always an index of where you can find things. So I've already got 37 some odd pages of different things going on and then the pages that aren't numbered in between are probably you know just the day view day at a glance type stuff and I'm not going to put those in there you can kind of just see that this is all February stuff so all the day February day at a glance type stuff is going to be mixed in kind of in order in between all of those so and because the index can end up being a few pages I left four pages for the index for the whole book. I have shown this page before. Not much has changed here. This is my 2019 at a glance. This is um, a page that I tried out in the very beginning of trying to do this um, bullet journaling and it's the week at a glance. This was the week of Valentine's. And then I, what I liked about it was this because I generally do meal planning about four days out, three to four days out. If I do anything beyond that, it ends up just getting, like the plan doesn't go as scheduled because usually mixed in after about three or four nights of cooking, you're going to want to have a leftover night. And then Levi ended up getting sick on these days. So I kind of threw my original plans out the window. Like we were going to go eat dinner at my grandmother's, but I didn't want to leave the house because Levi was sick. So I made drumsticks. And then this is like a day to glance type of example and then my grocery list. So this is my February tracker. Um, things that you want to track like habits and you want to see how you're doing with those. Like this morning I actually got up at 4.30, started my coffee, started my video editing. Um, typical things that you might want to track, a lot of people want to track if they're drinking enough water, if they're working out, um, you know, did they spend money that day? Uh, for me, it's pretty much about um, did I post the content that I was supposed to post and I put on there, did I floss my teeth and, you know, stuff like that, that little reminders. And then this is a view that I tried out for my content, like my editorial type of calendar. And I actually, as much as I think this page is kind of pretty, even though I didn't finish it, I didn't finish the flowers on this. Um, I could go back and finish it just for the sake of doing that. I didn't like this view because I felt um, it, it just didn't work for what I needed. And I'll show you what I think I'm gonna do for next month here shortly. All right, so this is one of my New Year's resolutions is to start reading the Bible chronologically and I'm breaking it up into super small, tiny segments, doing it a chapter at a time. And as you can see here in the New and Old Testament combined, there are 1189 chapters. So it would take probably over three years to do it if I do a chapter a day, which is just like reading for five minutes, totally doable. All right, so I haven't finished this page either. It's a work in progress. Um, I mean, I have some goals for this channel. I'd like to get to a thousand subscribers this year. I'm working on my website. It actually is live, but there's only a few posts on there right now. It's never dull.me. Um, so I'm working on that. And it's my goal this year to post 50 posts and basically it's going to be a organizational and life hacks and family vlog. It's also going to be matching this vlog, my, my website or my blog 
So there's vlogging and blogging going on here. Um, another one of my goals is to go on a honeymoon with my hubby. That's the chronological Bible read along that I was telling you about. I'd like to get to a third. And just like most people, I would like to tone up a little bit. I will talk more about that at the end of the month. I have some ideas for March on that. So more to come. All right. So this is my little cute tracking page for my Never a Dull Moment subscribers. I'm right now in between 50 and 100. So this is just like just starting out. And um, by the end of the year, I would love to be right here. I mean, honestly, I'm happy with anything. I'm just enjoying this process. So this is how I've been kind of tracking my videos. Here's the title of the video. It's the February Vlog Challenge Daily Vlogging. And so far, the only day that I actually missed was the 16th. And I ended up posting on this day. I did like a double vlog because I just didn't have enough content for this day. So, so that's what I did. And then I track, you know, film, edit, post. Did I embed my blog on my website, which my website's new. So there's not a lot of that going on different uh, product links that I may have promoted and then Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. I am starting to get better about using Instagram. If you would like to connect with me on either of these, my username is the same. It's SamEve82 on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. So um, my Instagram has been definitely more active lately. So that would definitely be the one at this particular moment. It would be great to connect with you on. This is my statistics tracker for um, my web pages and social media, and I'm doing it by the year, so January through December. And that will be really neat to look at at the end of the year to see how things grow. It's a great kind of a top down kind of a look. And then you're we're getting back into daily view. You'll see how this changes coming up. This is my February master task list tracker. As you can see, things have been really busy. So getting to these extra little tasks has not been happening. <laughs> um, and this is where it started to change. Instead of using a whole day for the daily view, I started putting several days on one just to see how it went. This actually has one, two, three, four, five uh, days on it. And then my grocery list. And I've liked doing it this way. All right. Um, this one has three days on it. And then my little meal planner that I mixed in. And I started putting little quotes and um, what we did that day. Um, Ava and Levi didn't have school. This was President's Day. So we went to the pool. I did vlog that day. Um, let's see. This is the day that my website actually went live. I, I had some posts that I had ready and or had done previously, but this is the day that the website actually went live, I think, publicly. And then, um, and that is neverdoll.me. Me. They didn't have .com, so I had to use me. All right. And this is where we are right now. This week, um, coming up to, you know, all the way through Sunday. This is what I'm working on. It's been a busy, busy, busy week and it's been a great week. And then getting into hashtags. This is just like little, this is next week, little planning things. I'm starting to plan for March. This is the end of February here that I have not finished. This will be the official last day of February and the daily vlogging challenge will be complete. And this is where I'm going to um, introduce what I'm going to be doing in March, which is going to be a little different. And this is going to be my editorial calendar for March. And then kind of my posting schedule that I'm thinking of doing and what tasks that means and doing what tasks when. So this is as far as I've gotten. I'm up to page 39. So that's where, um, and you know, you have, I had to put my own page numbers in my, my bullet journal didn't come with page numbers. And I think I accidentally made two page 33s. Look at this. 33. Oh, no, I didn't. What, what page did I do two of? 32. 
one page 32, and then another one. But that's okay. Um, over here in my index, where is it? There it is. You just have to guess which, you know, 32 I'm talking about. <laughs> but that's okay. You know, it's just for me and I'm enjoying this. I really like bullet journaling. Um, I'm definitely going to be making some blog posts that go into more detail about this. I'm actually going to be working on a blog post about this today for my website. So, um, yeah, I really definitely recommend this over using your phone to try to track and organize your life. Um, that it's just, I think it's cold and disconnected and there's nothing more annoying than when you're at the grocery store and you have to keep turning your phone screen back on to see your grocery list. I just literally lay this at the bottom of the cart and I just glance at it. I'll just like set my purse on this part so that it stays, it actually just stays open by itself anyway. That's what, that's another nice thing about the, the binding on specifically buying a bullet journal is they just, they stay open. Um, so I will post links for where you can get a bullet journal. This one cost me less than $10. I think it was $7 or $7.99, something like that. And I got some um, inexpensive pens that are very, very fine. So I will leave links to both of those items. You could be bullet journaling with me here for less than 20 bucks, And this is definitely going to be something that I talk more about and share with you um, as we go along. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Are you watching Elmo? Uh -huh. Elmo? Yucky, rainy day out here. We are on our way to speech therapy and somebody is passed out in the back seat. I gotta get this little guy to wake up. Somebody's trying to figure out how to put the book back on. Yep. <laughs> He's gonna run. <laughs> This one picture shows them uh, standing by a car. They really look like a hot car. It's me by They work. Like I all that stuff up. Mm -hmm. Just make some like bullet point notes and we'll cover it. Yeah. Right. Okay. I work on